This tutorial will help you to complete the questions on homework number six. Let's take a look. First topic is the dilation of a point. So a dilation is a shrinking or a growing of a coordinate point by multiplying by some factor value. So in this case, the scale factor is three. You simply take each of these ordered um, coordinate points and multiply them by three. So you're gonna times nine by three and zero by three. Negative nine times three is negative 27, and zero times three is zero. Simply type those values here, negative 27 and zero, and submit. That's it. Sometimes you'll multiply by a whole number because you're getting bigger, and sometimes you'll multiply by a fraction because your point is getting smaller. So you simply multiply three times one third and negative three times one third. So multiplying three times one is three, three divided by three is one. Negative three times one is negative three, negative three divided by three is negative one. So our new ordered pair will be one, negative one. And that's it. You simply multiply each of these uh, x and y coordinates by the scale factor. Sometimes it's a whole number, so we times by 5, times by 5. And when we do that, we get negative 10 and 45. Negative 10 and 45. And sometimes when you multiply, it's getting smaller, like this one here. So when you multiply by 1 half, you're really dividing by 2. So you want to multiply both of these by 1 half or divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. You type those coordinates in here. And that's it. That is how you dilate a point about the origin. Your second topic this week is identifying the transformations that are shown. So be sure you're paying attention. It says figure L is the result of a transformation of figure K. So figure K was the first figure. Which transformation would get you from figure K to figure L, right? So that's how we're trying to move. We're trying to move from the blue shape to the green shape. Now it's definitely turning, it's definitely turning, so I'm gonna need a rotation. Um, a rotation 180 degrees would make you move two quadrants. That's 180 degrees. So I definitely know this is not a 180 degree rotation. I also know since it's turning, it cannot be a translation. So the question is, am I going clockwise or counterclockwise? So counterclockwise would be this way. So one turn counterclockwise would put me here. Sorry, one turn counterclockwise would put me here. One turn clockwise, which would be towards the right, going with the clock, right, going with the clock. So one turn clockwise would go this way. So a rotation 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. Yes. Again, make sure you're, you're going from blue to green. Now, both of these shapes are facing the same direction. See this short line at the top? The short line is still at the top. So this is definitely a sliding because they're facing the same direction. So this is definitely a translation. The question is, how does blue get to green? Does it go one to the left? Does it go five to the right? Does it go one to the right? So as I'm looking at my choices, I'm noticing that this corner dot is lined up with five. This corner dot is lined up with four. So it definitely shifted one to the left. So one unit left. And then we can double check. One, two, three, four. Yep, five units down. So that's how you complete the second portion of the homework. And the third one is a discovery lesson, which means that I want you to do some guessing and checking. And you don't have to get it right on your first attempt. This is a discovery lesson. Um, so you can type in lots of different choices down here. So if you're starting from this blue figure Q and you want to get it over to R, if you want to get it over to R and you're thinking, oh, that's a rotation, then you simply choose the word rotation. 
and then you choose which direction you think it's going and how much it's going. Um, let's say it goes 90 degrees clockwise. Now I have to fill in something down here. I don't know what the answer is right now, so I'm just going to take a guess because that's what this whole discovery lesson is about. So I'm just going to guess and then I can alter it later. Maybe it's going down. I think it's going to turn and then maybe it's going to go down two units. I'm just guessing. Who knows? So I choose try and then it goes down one, two. Oh, I was so close. All right. So turning was good, but I didn't go down far enough. You see that? I didn't go down far enough. So I'm just going to change this to a three. So rotate 90 degrees and then translate down one, two, three. Yes. It says you are correct. You may now submit to get credit. All right. Now listen, I did pretty good, but that's because, you know, I've been doing this a long time. So let's say you're totally lost um, and you just randomly are picking a reflection over the x-axis followed by a reflection over the x-axis. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Oh, two different types. Okay. What if I chose this? It's still going to say it has to be different. Reflection over the y-axis. Okay. So you can't have two reflections. Uh, rotation. I'm just going to take a wild guess here. So I flip it. Then I rotate it. Ooh. Okay. That's not that bad, though. I mean, that's a reflection this way, though. See that? I would have to do a third thing to get it over there. Hmm. All right. Um, I think I like that rotation. So I'm going to go with a rotation 90 degrees clockwise. And then let's try translation again. I'm just going to go down one unit. I have no clue. Ooh, I don't need to go down or up. I need to go to the right. See? Okay, that wasn't so bad. So I'm going to change this to the right. I need to go over one, two, three, four. And that's what we're doing. This whole lesson is just about testing it out, picking some type of transformation, and seeing where you wind up. Pretty cool. All right. Good luck. I know you can do it. Have some fun with this. Um, but make some really educated guesses. Make some good educated guesses.